Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am back today with another video, and um, this is gonna be an interesting one. If you guys look at my abilities here, you can probably guess what I have. And I got this off camera because it was extremely, extremely easy. Like, hang on, um, hard. I have 740 karma. You need 200 karma in order to get this. And it's super easy to get that in this mod pack because you have, because you nearly die to uh, so many enemies. Also, I have this. I I'll explain these in a little bit. I have this from a uh, chance cube. It's amazing. It like it may be extremely dead. Like I wish I had whatever mod um, shows you the durability and whatever and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys know what that mod is, let me know in the comments down below, and I will add that mod immediately to this mod pack. And I'm gonna be doing some changes to the mod pack as well. Uh, I also wanted, like, it just says it's from Lurecraft Core, so I don't know what it's mainly for. Like, if it told me what, which mod, I know what I'm meant to use that for, but I don't. Anywho, um, if you guys can tell by this, you guys know that I have Mjolnir. Yeah, I have Mjolnir now. Uh, so the Thor Hammer waypoint is just a spawn mark now. And that's it. And I have quite a few waypoints I'll show you in a bit. Oh yeah, I also have a second, uh, Mjolnir. That's amazing. Um, I also have some other amazing weapons in this chest, which I will show you in a second. As soon as I show you, like, I did a lot of off-camera work. Because why not? And it, I didn't want you guys being bored watching me go through a lot of different things. Uh, oh yeah. <clears throat> also off camera. I spelt this wrong because I don't know how to spell. Um, I found my favorite pet in this entire mod. Oh, by the way. You see all this weed here? Like, in inventory beds, I found my favorite pet. You see all this weed here? Yeah, this was from chests. All of this was from chests. I did not. I don't have a farm anywhere to get any of that. This is from dungeon chest. Like, not dungeon chest, but tree chests. That is insane how much wheat I've gotten. Now, um, I've got uh, this little boy here, which... I'm going to be changing with, uh, Uru ingots, and, like, four ingots and two blocks in here, because why not? Uh, that's how, um, uh, I was able to make the two of the things that I'm going to be showing you in a second. Got to sleep. And, um, it will all also explain the title of this, of this video. Now, um, I also found, found, in Cloud Dungeons, so many diamonds, so many emeralds, so many of all of this, and for some reason, I keep finding Wither Pets. Like, I have two right now, but I found six. I left the rest behind, because I'd have, like, two is enough. Uh, I have a bed pet, a double chest pet. I don't remember if I used this or not. Um, uh -huh. Let me check. No, I didn't. Uh, I got an ender chest pet, which is amazing. That was one of the first pets I found off camera. I can sleep now, thank goodness. Oh, by the way, um, I still have my web slingers. I'm hopefully, like, they're right here. Uh, hopefully I get all the fluid for- Ah, uh, of course. Hopefully I can get all the stuff to make the fluid, like- Oh yeah, that's why I needed tin. Durr. 
all off camera as well, um, I was questioning why on earth would I need tin? This is flipping why you need tin, helper. Ay ay ay. Anywho, I also have a pig pet, which I thought was good, but it gave me raw pork chops. Randomly, which was annoying. Uh, I got a blaze pet, which I will probably never use, because fire, damage on attack, and strength boost. Oh yeah, uh, I had a brewing stand pet. I got rid of it after I used it. It gave me this potion. Um, squid pet, magma cube pet. This one's awesome. This one can combo off really well when I'm swimming with Thor. Also, I exploded one time. To a chance cube. It was the, um, wait for it one. Like, it says in your chat, wait for it. And I thought, you know what, it's just gonna explode. I might as well just leave. No. I thought it explodes where it's telling you to wait for it. I was wrong. I left. It went now. And then I exploded. Like, despite... Look how many... Look how many hearts I have. I have a lot of hearts. A normal explosion does 20 hearts. I currently have, um... 22, 23, 24... 26 hearts. And that explosion killed me. When I was in full armor. That's insane. Uh, I have a mushroom pet here as well. Oh, now its durability's gone. I I only used it once. Eh, whatever. Not as stupid as immediately using the squid pet and uh, having it immediately die in two seconds. Annoying. Um. Oh yeah, I also have Thor's pants. Might as well put that on now that. I don't look good in Thor's pants. I need the rest of the suit. Unfortunately, you cannot craft this. Like, see, I'm, I'm hitting the uses here. You you can't craft this. Yeah, you can't. You can't craft it. I I want to be able to craft this armor. Cause the only way to get it, as far as I can tell at this point. Is via the uh, uh, Norse villages. Anywho, um, yeah, here's the other three weapons I was talking about. Um, oh yeah, I might want to show this. I got the Illuminati pet. I right clicked it once, and it gave me a few blocks of uh. Of this gold titanium alloy, and you use this. Uh, you use this stuff, like oh, I got lucky. Okay, then whatever to make the infinity gauntlet. Now in um, villages and uh. Norse villages chests, I've gotten the Stormbreaker head, Ultimate Mjolnir head, and the Infinity Gauntlet cast. So I made the Infinity Gauntlet. I'm not gonna use my Tesseracts to get the Space Stones, because the Space Stones pretty much useless to me, but... When I do go to the nether, I'm trying to get that, I'm going to try to get that reality stone, and I, like, when I make one block of diamond, I will have infinite blocks of diamond at that point, because I have the reality stone. Now, let's just get this entire episode started, of why it's titled what it's titled, I'm meaning to do that. Um, and here's the other reason why it's titled, like, that's only Mjolnir, this sword, these two, and, um, the Infinity Gauntlet? That's not a lot of weapons, you're probably thinking. 
This is why it's a lot of weapons. I have a full Crescent Rose, a full Gramble Shroud, a full Menina Steer. I don't know if that's how you say it. I got Penny Sword. I didn't craft this. That was literally a drop. Same with Stormflower here, so I no longer need these parts. And I have a... I don't know how to say that. And I also have Ember Silica. I have so many weapons. So, first I'm gonna craft the ultimate meal. Why am I doing this to my crafting table? I can just do this, because it's one stick. The ultimate meal now! It looks like a worse version of uh, Stormbreaker. Eh. Now it's bound to me. But one good thing about this is it's not enchanted with worthiness, so I can enchant this thing. Which doesn't really matter because, eh, whatever. And now, Stormbreaker, the better one. Yeah. Oh yeah, because um the only way you level this up by as far as I know is um uh, I don't get the customizer thing. Um is to fly around. I've been flying around a lot with the Mjolnir and I'm still going to fly with Mjolnir cuz it looks better. Um the way you level up is flying. I've flown a lot, and I've leveled up to level 10, so now I have god mode, so I don't even need to hold the hammer in order to do this. Or this. I don't even need to activate god mode in order to do that. That's incredible. God mode just increases the power of my lightning, I believe. Uh, let me check. Increases your strength in general. Okay. So with God Mode, I could pretty much kill a lot of things. Also, I didn't craft this or this. These two were also the Illuminati Pet. The Illuminati Pet's OP. And, um, I also got a lot of Impure Dust. Never thought I would get a lot of impure dust, given how rare it is. Oh yeah, um, this was also off-camera. This time I know it was off-camera. And, um, I, guess what? I didn't use leads to do that, like, to get them in. No, I found out a pretty amazing fact that, um... Apparently, and pull webs, you can pull mobs with this. Your webs can basically be a free lead that can swing you around places. That is insanity that I never realized, because no one ever does it. But yeah, that's incredible. Hang on, what if I put you in here? Well, yeah, that gets rid of the rest of my fluid. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. I'll just put this in here then. Alright, so now that I made those two, uh, I'm gonna sort out my inventory a bit. Uh, put all this in here. I, I also made some magazines for the Crescent Rose, because... I love the Crescent Rose. And, um, uses, move items, and boom! I have the Crescent Rose now. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Like, it's a giant scythe. I find that awesome, and it turns into a gun. In case you guys have not seen my mod review. Oh yeah, also, something else I found out off camera that I should probably point out. Um, 
You know how I was saying I don't know what it meant when it starts you off with a semblance? Like, and how I didn't get the coins? Yeah, that's not what it does. It immediately gives you one of the semblances, and I found out, by accidentally hitting G, that I could do this. Yeah, I believe this is Weiss's semblance. But yeah, I can summon my own Grim Army. At the moment, it's just Boa Tusks, but eventually when I level it up, with a custom NPC getting the, um, getting the semblances that way, because I have no idea how to get it. Um, uh, actually, wait, is it, is it Weiss's or is it Blake's? No, wait, I think Blake's is the clones. I don't know, whatever. Point is, I can do this. Also, I'm going to test out God Mode. Because I don't want this guy in my house. Oh, cool! I did not think... the Stormbreaker? Yes, it does! I never noticed that before. Anywho, let's uh, make some more weapons. Now, this one's extremely easy. It's just boom, bam, pow. Other way, and boom, pow, I have Ember Silica. Now, the reason I made two is because it's, they're gauntlets, they're meant to be in both hands. Wait, why is the texture broken for Gingy? It's perfectly fine for me. That's interesting. Also, it does this. Wait. Aw, oh, that's a disappointment. I thought both of them could turn into a fist. Like, and it has no, uh, speed recoil. Like, see, this has, a 1.6% attack speed. This doesn't. Because it... Like, it still doesn't. And, um... This looks sick on me, to be completely honest. Like, I did not think this would look so good on me. Anywho, putting away the Ember Silicas now, uh... Actually, you know what? Put the good weapons in here. Ember Silicas, and... Turn you back. And let's craft up another ruby weapon. This time, I'm gonna put it in the order you place them in. So I don't put it in the wrong order. And boom, we have this weapon now. Now, I could make two, but I don't want to, because cause I could um, smelt the rest of this down into frost ingots or get scrap. And scrap is used to make a lot of the ammo. And this guy, and I kind of want to make this guy. So, yeah. Uh, now let's make the Gramble Shroud. This is why the video is called So Many Weapons, by the way. And let's make the Many Rastir. I'm probably pronouncing these wrong, but I don't really care. Boom! A Gramble... Yeah, the Gramble Shroud. I said I was gonna clean up my inventory, and I never did. Like, off-camera, I said, I'm gonna clean up my inventory and start this episode. What did I forget to do? Clean up my inventory. Anywho, let's make uh, many of us stay now. Uh, where's the handle? There's the handle. It's also sideways, isn't it? Of course it is. Now, um, unlike the rest of the ruby weapons, um, like, if you look at this, this turns into a gun and a sword. Wait. 
But this is meant to have three forms. Uh, like it, it's meant to have a fatter form. Or is that a different weapon? Anyway, uh, this just gives you a dash when you right click it, and there's no other mode. It just allows you to dash. Pretty good though, and it can do other things if you put dust in it, but I'm not gonna do that for reasons. Uh, these are two weapons I don't like, by the way. Oh yeah, I gotta show you this one. Uh, this... It's a hammer right now, which is ironic given Mjolnir. But, if I do this, it's a grenade launcher. It's nuts. And I love it for that form. Now, uh, is that all the weapons I can make? Um... Yes, it is. Okay, so, yeah, a lot of weapons, a lot of weapons. Which would explain the title of this video. No, wouldn't it? I have so much impure dust. How, how many things can I make with impure dust? Um, grenades, yeah, I might... Anywho, um, like... And you're probably still thinking that this is not a lot of weapons still. If you think about it, they can turn into different weapons. So, each one of these is two weapons. And its own. Then this. That, that's a lot of weapons. That's like over ten weapons, I believe. So, yeah, that's quite a lot. Now, uh... Oh, by the way, this is the um, ruby chest, and this is the miscellaneous chest. I got a lot of gold, by the way. Uh, anywho. Now, all this obsidian I have, this is from the obsidian nuggets. I've also got a lot of that. So I think I have enough for... No, I need one more. Luckily, uh, I don't know where my buckets are. Oh, there they are. Luckily, I live near a swamp, and I have a location marked lava. So, let's go to the water, get some, fill up this bucket, and uh, go to my waypoint of lava. And, um, yeah, I have home, lava, favorite pet, Thor's hammer, this is spawn now, um, a couple of dinos, uh, uh, this was basically where I got the other hammer, and I was able to get the, uh, uh, or, this is where I exploded, by the way, and a possible lover, like, she's very cute, and she actually has hearts for me, so, that's a possibility, uh, so yeah, let's go to the lava real quick. Yep. And before I get rid- Oh, lag, lag. Oh, mama, lag. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Alright, so now let's... Obsidian the rest of it, and get one more obsidian. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what on earth is he doing well um i don't need a nether portal by the way because i have a nether portal pet which is awesome but it's also a downside because of the fact that there's a possibility that it could spawn you over lava anyway uh, now that I have a obsidian, I can make an enchanting table with uh, my diamonds and blaze run and this. I need an ink sack. Uh, 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 sorry guys, my feet just went numb. I don't know why. Uh, actually, I do know why. 
Um, let's make the enchanting table first, though. Okay. Okay. Enchanting table. Now, um... I think... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I died by an ocean. So, teleport. Yeah, see, this was that explosion. Like, this is not that huge, but... It did so much damage to me. It literally killed me, and for some reason in chat it said I was blown up by an Ursa. Like, how? Uh, lag, lag, oh jeez. Oh, my feet. They're so... Blech. I want to continue talking about the pain I'm experiencing right now, but I don't want this to become a foot fed thing. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Squid, you were here. Aha! Squid, okay. So I'm gonna need the ink sacks from these guys. Hiya! Get back here. Okay then. Alright, so go home now. now I can already tell that this is going to be a longer episode than normal. And, uh, do I have a feather? Ah! I don't have a feather. I don't have a feather. Okay, then. Um... I swear I had feathers. Guess I'm gonna find a chicken and kill it. Uh... Chicken! Chickens! Ow! Ah, uh, see, this is how I got my karma up so quick. Alright, I'm gonna turn on god mode. And kill everything super quickly. Uh, pig, pig, pig. Where is the... Where's the chickens? You know what, you know what, um, I have a better idea, I'm just gonna go to bed, there are monsters nearby. Hey! You two think you're special? You're not. One shot. One shot. Now, I would have used my lightning, but I don't want to kill my cows. Alrighty then. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna sacrifice some of my stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of my wood and this to get myself a feather. Because I pretty much need feathers. And, again, I swear I had them. I don't know what happened. Anywho, um... Buh, buh, and bup. If you guys are still confused about what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you right now, I have inventory pet. I, I mean, I have the advanced chanting tables mod in this. I'm making an advanced enchanting table. Like, I just made a normal enchanting table. Now I'm gonna go advanced. First, I'm gonna make an Eye of Ender. Because I kinda need that. And uses. Oh my, it has quite a bit of uses. Wow, alright then. Oh, I need four gold. I ain't 
I already had enough obsidian, I guess. I just needed gold. When they change the recipe. Interesting. Interesting. Anywho, advanced enchanting table. Perfect. Now, uh, because every last one of the villagers here are dead, uh, I'm gonna use their houses. And this video is probably gonna crash on me, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna use this house. Die. Anywho, uh, advanced enchanting table. Now, I can't. What is the. Oh, and can I downgrade? No, I can't. Alright then. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna enchant my pickaxe, give it. I, st I, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, I want fortune and unbreaking. Perfect. Now, can I get auto smelt on this? No, I can't. Now, what about this? Nothing. And yeah, this just has the exact same things. But yeah, now I have Fortune 3 and I'm Breaking 3. That is amazing. Now if I get some Diamond Ores... Oh, baby. Oh, baby, that's gonna be amazing. Now, hang on. I guess you can only get it on the Fiery Pickaxe. Which, by the way, I can get right now if I wanted to, because, um... <laughs> You know what, I think... Actually, no, I can't get it right now because I need to kill some monsters. But... I'm gonna unlock the Twilight Forest. Now, um, I'm, my, I don't know what I'm gonna replace this mod with now that I'm done with this thing because I'm never gonna use this ever again. Um, but, uh... I might replace it with a Galactic Craft so I can uh, utilize Tough Lungs, which makes you be able to breathe in space. Galactic Craft required. So I might add that. And uh, let's create this. Ouch. I just got the advancement. Um, Twilight Forest. So. Now I can go to the Twilight Dimension, and, um, how long is this video going? 33 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna end it here then. And, um, actually, no, no, no. I wanna show you guys favorite pet. Real quick, uh, favorite pet. Now, this was just sheer luck. And this is a, this is an amazing pet. It's a legendary pet. And it's the flipping slime pet. Now, I touched nothing in here. It's the slime pet. Saves you from certain death. And requires golden apples. I can get those so easily. Also, get more of the wheat. Get my diamonds. Get these. Um, get rid of the arrows. And get the lapis nuggets so yeah and um this is pretty close to spawn like look look where spawn is that's thor's hammer right there i could have gotten this episode one if i was thinking about it which i wasn't it was like it was all chaos i mean not episode one actually episode two but yeah now i look hold on watch this I'm gonna fly all the way up, fall, and I would have died there if it wasn't for the slime pet. It's amazing. I can use it three times before I have to feed it. 
So, yeah, now I'm going to go home. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to show you guys Possible Lover. Hopefully, she's still here. Up, oh, yep. Yeah. This happens a lot, by the way. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, she's still here. Thank goodness. All right. So, hiya. Uh, I'm going to gift you a diamond. How did you... Never mind. This is amazing. Okay, so she's very close to being my lover. So, I am might need to make a ring soon. Uh, wedding ring or engagement ring. I think I'm going to go with the wedding ring. Just so I can get married immediately. And, um, it's going to be annoying getting her back because, uh, waypoints, waypoints, waypoints. Um, they're over here. Look how far away home is. Like, it's so far. Also, I trapped them in here. So, I like, look, she's not married. Also, stupid thing and funny thing about this village, this is the only dude in the entire village. He's literally the only one. There's no one, there's no other dudes. Every other one is a woman. And, ah, uh, why do you people keep saying that to me? See, look, there's a woman right there. This entire village is w w just one man surrounded by women. Ah. Do I have more diamonds? I don't. <clears throat> Anywho, um this episode's starting to get a bit too long. Uh so I guess, um, now that I have all these weapons and I unlocked the Twilight Forest, I know what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. I'm going to be marrying her, and if she dies on the way, I'm going to fight death and bring her back to life. And then, um, because <clears throat> that you can do that with your wife or kids. It's amazing. I love it. And I know how to do it now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time, and goodbye! Oh, yeah, I'm also going to be going to the Twilight Forest in the same episode if I can't. <laughs> Sorry about that. If I can. Bye-bye, guys!